Hi there, mommies. Uh, this is a 15 minute stability ball workout. You can do this if you are pre or postnatal. Uh, it's a very simple series. It'll help stretch you, help relax you. If you're really feeling down, it's a really good way to just get your body moving a little bit uh, for your day. Okay, so we'll start uh, with the stability ball. You'll need a stability ball and a set of hand weights. A nice trick to know if your stability ball is good for you is if you sit with your tush right in the middle of the center of the dome, you want your hips and knees on the same plane or very close to. These usually come in a few different sizes, um, so you can check that diameter on any website online. They usually have um, guides for the diameter of the ball according to your height. Okay, so coming to a standing position, take your stability ball into your hands. You want the heels of the hands right in the center of the side of the ball and just stand nice and tall. Heels together, toes apart in your Pilates stance. Roll the shoulders in and down onto the back. Now take an inhale here, lift the ball up over the head, stopping when you feel like you're gonna arch your back. You don't wanna do that. You wanna keep a nice neutral spine. And as you exhale, bring your chin towards your chest Imagine you're peeling your spine off of a sticky wall, one bone at a time in the back. Place the ball to the floor. Put the hands on the top of the ball. Take an inhale and stick your tush out behind you, straighten your legs and lift the chest and look forward. Now drop the chest, start to reach the arms out, pressing the ball out long in front of you. Make sure the palms are firm on top of the ball. And just take a nice stretch here, lengthening the crown of the head towards the ball, a long extended spine. As your tush reaches in the opposite direction, legs stay straight. Inhale here, exhale, roll the ball in, using your core, rounding your spine. Put the hands back to the sides of the ball, roll your body back up, pressing it against that imaginary wall, lift the crown of your head. Two more, inhale, lift the ball up. Exhale, chin towards the chest, rolling down. Now as you exhale, hug your navel up and in towards your back. Inhale, look forward here, hands on top of the ball. Exhale, let the chest come back down as the hands press the ball out. Long tabletop stretch here. Inhale, exhale, pull your core in, round the spine, drag the ball back in. Warming up that core, warming up the back, stretching the body, lifting up to tall one more time. Inhale, ball comes up, exhale, chin towards the chest, roll down, squeeze your thighs together, pull those cable muscles up and in, hands on top of the ball. Inhale, looking forward, exhale, softening down, pressing the ball all the way out long. Plug your shoulders away from your ears. Hug your thighs together. Take an inhale into your back body, widening. Exhale, corset your breath in. Around the back, pull the ball all the way up and in. Leave the ball on the floor. Stay slightly slumped over in this rounded spine. And now lengthen all the way up to tall, lifting the crown of your head. Now take a seated position on the ball. You want your tailbone right in the center. Most of the balls have circles all the way around. So put your tailbone right in the center of that smallest circle on top. Feet a little bit wider than the distance of the hips. Knees and toes all in the same line. Take the hands right by your sides on the ball. Sit nice and tall. Going into the Pilates 100 here, start to pump your arms forward and back. You're gonna inhale for five pumps. Exhale for five. Inhaling through the nose. Exhale out the mouth, down the front of the body and hug the navel back and in. We're at 30, inhale. Exhale, two, three, four, five, 40, inhale. Exhale, two, three, four, five, 50, inhale. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Keep going, shoulders are back and together on the back. Arms are long and pumping. Warming that body up and inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two more, inhale. Exhale, one more breath. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale. Now hold here. Press the hands back long past the hips. 
look towards the right side of the room. Think of opening and stretching that left shoulder the opposite way. Look the other way over the left shoulder and push your right shoulder back. A little chest expansion here. Look center. Reach the arms forward and lift them up right in line with your shoulders. A little Pilates chest expansion. Inhale. Exhale, press the hands back. Good. Now look over the left shoulder. Push the right shoulder back and open. Keep it there. Look to the right, push your left shoulder back, keep both shoulders pressing back as you look forward again, and lift the arms back up, right in line with the shoulders. And now relax the arms and just bring the hands right to the hip bones here. And going into some pelvic tucks, if you're having any tightness in your lower back, um, especially if you're prenatal, when your belly grows out, we tend to tilt back and compress that lower spine. So we're going to try to reverse that, loosen up here with some pelvic work. Going into some tucks first. Take an inhale, grow nice and tall. As you exhale, just tuck your tailbone forward like you're rolling the ball forward and underneath you. Your hands are on your hips, so you should feel your hip bones kind of come in towards you. And now bring the ball back underneath you, back to a neutral spine, and just grow tall. Four more, inhale. Exhale, tuck that ball underneath you. Pull your belly in, feel that lower spine, those lower vertebrae open and lengthen. Inhale, lengthen, grow tall. Exhale, tuck. Using our breath here to get the core activated. Inhale, growing tall, long neck, long spine. Exhale, curve. Two more, inhaling. Exhale. Last time, lengthen. And exhale, roll that ball underneath you and forward, making this one the deepest one that we can, opening up that lower back. Take an inhale. Exhale, lift the body all the way back up. The ball rolls underneath you. Going into some side stretches here. For these, you can use um, either a countertop or a bar if you have one at home, or maybe the back of the couch. Um, any piece of furniture, if you don't have a bar that you feel is very stable, okay, make sure it is before you go ahead and use it. So still facing forward, take one hand to your furniture or bar and just place the top of the hand on it with long fingertips and plug that shoulder into your back so your arm is active here. Take the outside arm up by your ear, a deep breath in. As you exhale, lean in towards that piece of furniture and feel the ball tuck underneath you. And we're breathing into that outside side, into the rib cage here. A deep breath. Exhale back up. Arm stays long by the ear. Two more, inhale, prepare. Exhale, leaning over. The ball slightly tucks towards the furniture. And we're breathing into the rib cage here. The rib cage needs to um, stay nice and stretched out, all those intercostal muscles in the ribs to make room for that growing baby. One more time, inhale. Exhale, lean over. Hold on this one. Take your outside arm and reach it towards the corner of the room. And as you do that, pull your outside hip back as the arm reaches in opposition. And you should feel a really nice stretch along that side of your back. Take one more breath here, inhale. Exhale, lift that arm back up over your head by the ear. Lift up all the way to tall. Now take your outside hand to your hip and bring the inside arm up over your ear and just stretch the opposite way. Come back up to the center. Carefully stand up and we'll turn around to the other side. So again, tailbone right in the middle of that ball. Okay, sitting tall, inside arm right on your furniture or bar with long fingertips, pressing slightly down into the bar to keep that arm engaged and active. Now outside arm up by the ear, inhale, lengthen the spine, exhale, lean over towards that opposite side. Breathe into the rib cage, exhale, lift back up. Two more, inhale, exhale. 
One more, lengthening up, inhale, exhale. Feel that stretch all the way from your hip bone up into the ribs all the way up. Now hold here, take that top arm and reach it towards the corner of your room. And as you do that, pull your left hip bone back and just feel that deep stretch in that big lat muscle on the back. One more breath there. Exhale, bring that arm back up over the ear. Lift all the way to tall, going into our counter stretch, outside hand to your hip, inside arm up over the head, lengthen out. Come back up to the center and bring both hands right on top of the hip bones here, going into some pelvic rolls. So we're going to tuck the tailbone forward, roll the hips to the right, to the left, and back forward. My ball is very squeaky. <laughs> so have fun with this. This is, again, helping loosen up that lower back. If you have any tightness in there, very good for the hip joints. So let's do one more this way. Go the other way, so tucking forward around to the outside to the back. We'll keep going here for four, three, squeaky, squeaky, two, and one. Okay, holding here. Now going into some bounces on the ball. These are excellent for your core and your pelvic floor muscles, whether you're trying to get them strong to deliver or um, regain strength after having the baby. So from here, I'm just going to do one example facing the bar. This is what you'll do at home. You're going to face your furniture or your bar. You want to be about an arm's distance away with the fingertips on top of your furniture. Start to make bounces on the ball like so. Your spine is nice and long. Your feet are open a little bit wider than the distance of the hips. As you bounce up and down, pull your abs in. Keep your cable muscles pulling up away from the ball. Little burn in the quads here. Let's go for five. In four, we're going to come up to a slight pause. Three, two. Now press your hands to your furniture and lift and just hover your tush over the ball. You should feel your booty working, your quads, and your core. One more example like this, bouncing up and down. Let's go for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, coming up to hold, squeeze your tush, and back down. Now I'll turn to the side so you can see me. If you've done this video several times or you feel you're a little bit more advanced, you can do it like this without anything in front of you. Just make sure you're very in control. So let's bring the hands to a prayer position, starting to bounce up and down. Going for 10, 9, 8, Seven, check in with that core, check in with those cables, pull up and in, three, two, one, come up and hold, squeeze your tush, always make sure the ball is back underneath you, <laughs> and start bouncing again, we'll do three more sets, ten, nine, if you're taking this variation, hands are pressing in and together to get that chest activated, and four, three, two, come up and hold, squeeze that tush, Bring it back down, two more sets, bouncing. Long spine towards the ceiling, shoulders back and in. Six, five, four, three, two. Coming up to that hold, squeeze everything up and in. One more, reset and bounce for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, come up and hold last time, widen your feet, bring the ball out in front of you, still in this wide stance here, straighten the legs all the way up, going into some squats, really good for strengthening the legs and opening up the hips for delivery, so we're going to bend the knees and go down as we lift the ball, come back up to tall, inhale down, Exhale up, slow and controlled. Heart rate should be up a little bit from our bouncing. Get that blood moving. Inhale, exhale, a few more. Inhale, exhale. Push through the heels and squeeze your tush. 
Long arms lift the ball and back. Going for five. Four. Three. Two. Hold it down on the last one. And just a nice static hold here. Lift the chest, lift the ball, tuck your tush out behind you. Get a little lower, hold it for three, two, straight into the body all the way back up. Okay, one more exercise going into a little balance challenge here. Sometimes your balance can be a little bit thrown off throughout the pregnancy um, and even after. So it's good to just do a couple of balance exercises a week to help maintain that. Let's take the right leg out long behind, tapping the toe to the floor, ball in front of the chest. Moving into a seesaw exercise, press both hands into the ball, bend the standing leg just slightly. Start to tip forward, the ball comes down, the back leg lifts, lift back up with control. Just five, lower down, lift back up, three, Reach the leg long behind you and the arms long in opposition. Two. Core is very important for balance, so pull that navel back and in. Last one. And lift. Feet together, reset. Okay, last set. Left leg back behind. Toe to the floor. A slight bend in our standing leg. Lift the toes. Seesaw forward. You don't have to go very far. And lift back up. Five. Inhale down. Exhale lift. Three. Charging up that standing leg. Two. One more. All the way up. Bring the feet together. Bring the ball down, and to finish, we'll just end with some breathing and some kegels. Again, good for pre or postnatal. Sitting right on top of your ball in the center of the dome, feet wide. Take the hands to the rib cage here. Grow tall, always tall. I'll say that a lot. And you're going to inhale into your hands, into the sides of the rib cage, trying to keep your belly flat. So we inhale. As you exhale, pull your navel back and in. Make your hands come closer to each other, so. And breathe out the mouth. Again, inhale into the hands. Try to keep the belly flat. As you exhale, imagine you're tying that corset in your middle and pull in. Now add a cable. Inhale, release everything. As you exhale, pull your kegel muscles up away from the ball, pull your navel in and back, and corset those abdominals in. A few more, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And you can bring the hands down and soften. You can pause the video and keep going with those kegels. You can do as many as you'd like per day to help you get strong. And um, that's it. I hope this got your blood moving. Just a little bit of stretching, strengthening, and I hope you have a great day. Thank you.